Hi, welcome back to Team Wool Sheep Reviews. Now, you've probably seen a lot of the hype. They are a good quality gimbal. It's basically taking your Tyrannus to a, a higher quality performance unit. They are an upgrade for your Tyrannus, a well worthwhile upgrade. So, right, what is it? That's what you get. So, obviously, you need two of them. This is what you're replacing. This is very nice, aluminium, it looks uh, good quality. And the difference is with these, they got these sensors, which are called hole sensors. Now all I gotta do is strip it down. But you haven't gotta sit here, watch it, and I ain't gonna fast forward it. I'm gonna use magic. And there it is. Okay, as you can see, this is the gimbal mechanism. This is my throttle size. They are the little potentiometers I was talking about. As you can see, there's a physical connection there. It's physically turned in the center of the potentiometer. And there's another one there. So as it, as it moves, it's moving the potentiometer. So these are all wearing parts. Now, obviously, the gimbal comes with leads and the relevant positions for um, the relevant connections for the trims. So they each got a plug and then set the, the trims come separately as you can see now don't get confused first thing i started panicking right where do i go what goes where how do i put it in what's you know what do i do so the sensors forget these these strips here because you've got them on there the friction strips forget that they're in a different location it's where the sensors are the sensor always goes on the outside edge so for this side it's in that way and for that side go in that way sensor the whole sensor goes to the outside edge so first things I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug them and I'm going to release the gimbals by taking out those screws these screws are redundant because they're self tappers going into the plastic they actually come with a set of screws for each gimbal so so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this little screw I have a little screw driver and we're going to place the screw into the hole there. And I'm going to start to thread it through the nylon. And I'm going to hold it up with my thumb as I put the screw in. Because the screw is going to sit. on a little shelf. The screw's in, it's quite tight. And that screw is now sat on the shelf, hold, basically holding this out the way, which means that's now loose. Now you can't have it loose. So what you need to do is tighten down these if you notice, this one's got an indent. If I hold that one down, you can hear it gritty. That's the ratchet. If you hold that one down, it just makes it, it just gives it a bit of friction. So all you do with this one, I'm going to just give it friction. I'm not going to have any ratchet. I'm going to tighten that screw in until it makes contact with that bar. And you're only doing this on the throttle side because you can't have the throttle loose. So there now it's nice. It's got a bit. Of, firmness to it so I'm gonna screw it down a little bit more and make it a little bit tighter still got centering for the rudder but the throttle is where I put it right a little bit fiddly because you've got to get it underneath the boards. But once it's, you, once it's all the way down, and you know it's in position, job done. Like I said, they come with different screws. So, so um, make sure it's a nice flush fit, that it is down, it's not trapped on any board, because it hooks under this bottom board. So be careful. Make sure before you clamp it in that there's nothing, no wires being caught. 
and that everything is is okay and then once you're happy lock it in as you can see the wiring is what it is that is going to plug back in there that that has to plug in there because that's obviously the big one make sure it's plugged in the right pins all right but you can check the pins make sure everything's okay before you plug it in and then plug it home making sure it's in and then you'll see it's two you've got two wires then for the trims like that one will not reach that over there so that one has to be in that position there they are keyed so they only go in one way and that reaches over there like so and there's my throttle gimbal all nicely changed so the next one to change now is my cyclic tip I used a little bit of hot glue under these as you can see I've marked the switches so I knew where they went on from a previous project when I did the nice case change and slackened off the screws and the switches stay in place so it's quite simple now I use power magic to put it back together right right so there it is throttle cyclic now comes the all important for my switches power on you need to calibrate the strict sticks so to do that you press and hold the menu button for a couple of seconds so then when you page through you'll see there's a slightly different menu to what you normally have until you get to to that when you're on that position press enter to start center sticks and sliders so go through your sticks put this put your stick in the center you get a little indicator there but go through all, all of them make sure they're all centered you normally feel as a, like a little nodule all right press enter to start move sticks and pots so go through in all the corners and put the stick back in the center same with all the wipers and sliders when you're happy with that press enter it's calibrated if you look at the graphics now right they're all going in the in the right direction down up right left so uh, that's an acid test make sure they go in the right direction so you can see them if I go in page to the monitor you'll see that they doing what they're supposed to be doing so yeah highly recommended these are genuine um, as you can see free sky FR sky gimbals they're the M9 Hall gimbals highly recommended uh, like I said I bought these from t9 hobbysport.com uh, I suggest you uh, get online, keep an eye. When you see them pre-order, get them ordered. I know FreeSky can't get enough of these. They're going all over the world. They're going like hotcakes. So don't mess about. When you see them available pre-order or in stock, get them ordered. Get them in your Tyrannus because it's the best upgrade you're going to do. Thank you once again for tuning in to Team Woolly Sheep. Now go out and buy the gimbals because you've got to have them. You've got to have them. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Mm. My baby. Get the gimbals. You won't be sorry.